Hello and welcome! In today's video we will be making our snake glow when we run, so without the further ado, let's get into it. First I'm gonna go ahead and import my image, I will put a link down in the description if you wanna lose it. Then we're gonna go project, right click material, name it the same, global, drag and drop that into albedo, change the shader of our new material, particles, additive, I want it to look like this. Next thing we want to do is drag and drop our body prefab into the game. We're gonna create a new empty game object inside of it, call it um, glow, glow, just call it glow. Add the component particle system, I'm just gonna particle system. And first of all, we want to disable the shape. Next thing we want to do is change the render drag and drop our global onto the material space and okay first thing we want to do is actually we will change our start size so we can see it I'll say 3.9 like so um, the max particles I'll say 3 since they will be lurping emission will say 3 over the time 0 0.01 one particle and the next thing we want to do is size over the lifetime oh we want to change the lifetime as well we'll set it to 1 size over the lifetime where is it <clears throat> let's go ahead and enable it click the open in editor <clears throat> it will give us this nice window I don't know what I just clicked there we go, okay. What can I click this? Expand this so we have a better view. Size over lifetime, where is it? Okay, so we're just gonna use the preset one. We're just gonna make it get bigger like so. Let's close that up. As you can see it's changed here and why is it not changing? Um, it should be. Oh, because it's not simulating. Oh, it is. Uh, just a moment. Start speed of zero. Oh. I forgot to change the start speed of zero. It's not moving anywhere. We're gonna say color over lifetime. We're gonna add one drop here, two over here, two over here, so it linearly disappears and it looks much better. We'll see. Okay, this all already looks like something. <clears throat> okay, so I think this is pretty much. Actually, this is very nice looking. Okay, let's go ahead and select your snake body preset that we drag and drop. Hit apply. It will save the existing one. You can go ahead and delete this. Right click delete. Now we want to jump into our code, snake movement. And into the already existing running method. Let's go and at the beginning we will say make our snake glow we will pass it the parameter of running which is a bowling which is troll false and down below actually below the those body parts we will say void make our snake glow which will take a boolean we'll call it are we running much self-explanatory and if we are running we want to do a for each loop that will loop through each game object and it will enable or disable the corresponding body part so it will glow or not let's go for each transform since we have transform in our list of body parts we're just gonna say body parts dot x since we already have one so it doesn't mix up in body parts 
we'll just say body parts that transform actually body parts underscore x excuse me that find child we named it glow if I'm not mistaken yes it's glow we're gonna go say the game object that set active are we running so this what this does it will enable all or disable the object if this is false our body part glow object will be disabled and we won't glow so if we go back into our game wait for it to compile if we hit run it's got to be bigger than two body objects okay and if I hit left click you see our snake gets glowing so you can change with the emission type of the particle system how you like it and until next time don't forget to comment like and subscribe and thank you for watching bye